All right, what's going on, guys? I'm back. Little intermission from when I was working on the Celica the other time. Uh, I already have all the sway bar stuff put in. I'm just bolting that up and tightening all that stuff down. But what I got over here, I'm going to make a short video about is the RZ Rallyco short throw shifter um, made for the 1994 to 1999 Toyota Celica. The only thing I don't know about it is I hope it bolts on. <laughs> Even though it says it's for my car, I just feel like it's there's like not a lot of parts here. And uh, I don't know, I hope it's just like a bolt-in thing. I'm gonna check it out right now. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it anyways, just in case it is. So yeah, let's go ahead and pop into the car and open this. All right, so here is the shifter mechanism. Now it appears to me that there's, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's a bolt holding this in. Uh, I don't know, it's like a rod. I'm guessing it goes in like that, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead by starting to remove this. And then I'll see how it goes back together and I'll explain it. So upon further inspection, if the camera will focus, focus, there, it's not gonna focus, but um, it appears to just be a little crush sleeve in there in this plastic because there's no actual way of unbolting it. Um, as you can kind of see, there's no actual way of unbolting it. So it looks to me like you just whack out that little crush sleeve inside there. And then this part like flips open um, because there's a little pivot part right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, see if I can knock that out really quick and uh, and then take take it off. All right. So it looks like you got to unbolt this whole deal. Uh, see the four black holes right there. Take all four of those bolts out because you're going to need to take this whole shifter assembly out to reassemble the short throw on this assembly. So we have to take these plastic sides off. In order to do that, we got to unscrew these two screws here. There's one screw right here at the bottom that holds it in. And then there's a sh and there should be another one that's a zip tie holding this side in. So, yeah, go ahead and unscrew those four screws, unbolt the these four bolts, and then once you get this off, we'll go on to the next step. All right, so I lied. You also have to take this out too, but this should just be clipped in, and all you have to do is literally just pop these out, like this whole face out. It just has these, like, metal clips holding it in. So you can literally just pop that out, put that to the side. Then you have the climate control bolts or screws, this one right here and that one right there. So go ahead and loosen those up and then you can finally take this piece off. And that one right there. All right, now that all this stuff is moved and out of the way that I can get to the actual shifter, right here, there's a little carter pin Go ahead and take that pin out, put it in a safe spot. In my case, it's on the ground so I can lose it. Then go ahead and pop the little shifter off with the deteriorated rubber bushing that's on it. After you do that one, you can go ahead and uh, pop this little tab up. You might need a flathead or some kind of thing to get that off. Um, let me get one. All right. So go ahead and get one of these bad boys and stick her in there and pry up on that little retainer clip. Take it out, put it on the floor so you can lose it. And then the shifter cable should be free. Yes which it is. So that's one. So now we got the second one down here. And in order to get that one out, it looks like, looks like we got some type of clip where you pry it to the side. Yeah, so it looks like you take the clip and you push it off to the side. So let me see if I can show you here without blocking you. So you take, it looks like you take the clip and you separate it. In order to take it off, just like that. Bam! 
All right, I'm gonna leave the clip in there so I don't lose it. Or maybe I'll just clip it back in place just like that. So now that I did that, go ahead and get your thingamabobber again. Push all your wires and shit out of the way. Grab your thingamabobber. And yeah, grab that thing. And then you pry the actual shit out of it. Oh. Go ahead and grab it. You know the drill. Lose it. Grab it. Pull it. Twist it. And then pop it. And then there you go. It's free. Somewhat. Well, it's, it's free. But I need two hands. Alright, now that you got your shifter, do whatever you want with it. You can uh, position it. You can put it right there, dude. You can uh, you can play with it. You know, make it, make it dance a little, dude. And you got this whole thing right there and then that's it and that's pretty much it um but yeah let's uh let's get this shifter out don't know how to do it but i'm gonna figure it out all right this is where i'm at right now so in order to get you definitely have to take this off in order to get that off you have to hit that sleeve through it and just make sure you don't crack the plastic because i already started cracking through the plastic luckily it's not completely broken but still be very careful when you knock that out uh the next step is i guess you do have to take this whole thing off so you have to take off this little retainer clip now do i have another one of these i i think this retainer clip is for that hole so you might have to cut this because i think this is a one-time use lock-in deal um i'm not too sure what this like horseshoe looking thing is um but i'll figure that out eventually so i think you gotta like cut that off I don't see any other option um so i think you gotta just trim that and then you can put this clip on it which will replace it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh yeah if i don't have one of these i'll see if i can get another one but i should this should be the one for that i hope so i'm gonna have to trim that so go ahead and just cut that good all right, I'm actually gonna clean this, but I just wanted to show you guys what I did. So I ended up just take cutting off that uh, that little tab right there. Here is the sleeve that was in there like that. So I ended up cutting that little thing off, put that to the side, and right when you cut that off, you can take the whole side assembly out over here and take the cap off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this downstairs uh, just to rinse all the gunk out of it and then i'm gonna go ahead and install the new shifter on it all right i put some uh white lithium grease in there to grease up that little ball and socket go ahead and put this retainer back on there get your slide pins halfway out because what you got to do is you got to grab the cover to put that back on you go ahead and put that back on put it on straight under here it only goes on one way see how there's like a little notch right there so you're not going to be able to mess that up because that's going to go all the way down so you go ahead and get your shifter cap and you press the sleeve back through let me do that there you go that's in now so that's being held down shifter feels already a lot better um all right so that's down Go ahead and get your, I don't know if I should put this crush sleeve back in. Maybe I'll, I'll see if I can find some bolts. That'll work. Um, let me see if I can do that. All right, so in order to finish this, I need to run to the hardware store. And I don't have the time to do that today because it's starting to get dark, even though it doesn't look like it. And I'm just running out of time in general. So I got to get a bolt that I can slide through there. And uh, I tried using this to kind of thread through it and, you know, but it was a little too big. So yeah, I need to get, I'm gonna go to the hardware store and see if I can find a little bolt with a um, little nut I can put on it that's about this long. And I'm gonna go see if I can find some retainer clips to put on this. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, here I am freezing my nuts off. I'm uh, putting the shifter back together and I'm gonna have the shifter in the car hopefully today. And then uh, depending on the weather, cause I know it's supposed to snow, the skies are pretty clear, so I don't know, but it's pretty cold. Um, so I'm just going to keep freezing here and uh, put my whatever I can do back together. Because I only have like a month 
less than a month to put this car back together. Uh, and the weather isn't really doing me any justice, so I don't really have a choice. So, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do here. And, uh, yeah, just keep, keep chugging. That's really it. So here you can actually see the physical length of both shifters. So if you line them up perfectly side by side, that's how much we're working with here. So, and it gets that little, like, I don't even know, this like 45, double 45 degree divot uh, out of here and uh, kind of just makes it straight. So it gives it a better shifting feel, I suppose. So there's that comparison. I always wanted to take this thing off, but I guess it's unnecessary now. I'll keep this shifter though, it's my lucky shifter. So for all the times it just flopped around. And that bolt is the same thread. Nice, I don't have to get another one. Now, I can go ahead and put the shifter on. I don't know how far down I'm supposed to go. I'm assuming all the way to the bottom. There you go. losing their dog and my dog is freaking out so now that that's in i could obviously i'm gonna do this last and put this shifter knob on last or maybe i won't i don't know let's see um but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and grab these bolts i bought from the hardware store and um and uh go ahead and thread them through here I didn't end up getting a, I didn't end up putting that, whatchamacallit, uh, crush sleeve back in. So I'm using nylon uh, locking nuts instead with the bolt, because um, I think that will just be better. So here we go. Oops. I'll just drop it on the ground. Who's losing their dog? All right, so this is what I did here. I have like this little plastic nylon uh, kind of washer, and then I put a bigger washer on the back of that so I don't end up completely destroying this plastic because it already had some damage done to it because trying to get that crush sleeve out. So let me go ahead and thread this back on. That's how she goes. I can already even though obviously it's not connected to anything i can already just moving the throw because it's only going to go as far as it backs in and out on the uh in the area for the shifting so i can already tell that the throw is just shorter because usually my hand would be up here and if you're increasing your uh point of leverage and just making it longer so instead of shifting it and my hand would be essentially here, it's only gonna be here, so it's shorter distance. So that's gonna be good. And um, yeah, that's, uh, there you go. So maybe I will just go ahead and throw the shifter on now. And let's see. a little cold outside so I know this isn't going to go on with ease oh yeah it's chilly maybe you can do another rotation one more a little bit more gimme no it seems to be all I'm getting a more. All right, so this is where we're at. Um, this pin actually has been moving in and out. I was trying to see what it was like if they're like shifting it really hard or pretending to shift it really hard and the pin was slowly backing out. Um, 
I'm going to go to my work and ask one of my work buddies if they have like a locking washer I can put over this. If not, I already started kind of trying to drill this hole out and I'm going to put washers on it with some type of self tapper and uh, to kind of hold it in place. Um, so if he doesn't have that, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and step in my work and uh, go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'll catch you back up with you guys after I've completed it. All right, so this is where I'm at. Uh, the repair that I did on the shifter to get the, the pin to lock in place, it's not my best work. Um, it's embarrassing is what it is. It works though. Um, so let me show you what I did. So there it is. <laughs> um, so what we got going on here is we got a crush washer from a brake, uh, a banjo bolt. And we got two self-tappers holding that washer in place. Now, um, I put a little slit inside the pin so it locks it down. So hopefully, luckily the tech inspection at the track is very, you know, lenient. <laughs> so they're not even going to look at that. So I'm not even going to look at it. Um, so pretty much I drilled a hole through it. And then I'm like, oh. Let's, uh, well, actually, I drilled a hole through it. Then I went to go run the self-tapper through. I broke the self-tapper inside of it, which made me have to drill it out again. I drilled it out again, and everything was fine. And then I'm like, oh, I have a smart idea. I had a carbide drill bit that had threads on it. I'm like, I can make threads. And then, uh, and then I can just thread a bolt in there. So I went, and I got the carbide drill bit. I put it in there. And right when I put it in there, it snapped. I want to go then proceed to get my regular drill bit to drill through it. And regular drill bits are not going to drill through the carbide bit. And it wasn't even making a dent. So I fucked myself. And uh, this was my alternate solution. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I was going to weld a nut on the front. But I figured I'll make it so I can take it apart again. Um, so there it is. Don't do what I do. Just learn from my mistakes. Um, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the car now. So here we are inside the car again. And uh, let's go ahead and put the shifter back in. And there she is, all back in. Now, I was going to do a reverse installation, but... Just do the same exact thing you did, removing it in reverse, and it's the same difference. Uh, the only thing is just when you go ahead and put this back on, put the little shift uh, cup boot on before um, you bolt down the assembly. Because I went and bolted it down, and then I couldn't clip it in, and then I just unbolted it and re-put it back in. But there you go. That's really it. Now, the shifter is super notchy. And it's super tight to shift now and it's just you feel more confident when you're in gear so it just feels like look at the rebound on that just like like neutral crazy before it was just like kind of all over the place now it's like really stiff in there and feels wicked good so there you go that first second third fourth fifth and neutral has no left or right play everything is solid and there you go uh, i'm just going to go ahead and throw the interior pieces back together and then we'll call it a day for that all righty there you go she's all back together feels freaking awesome it's tougher to shift it's at well not tougher it's easier but it's like notchier as in tougher as in like All right, cool. So uh, I gotta mount that ECU. That's another thing I have to do. I have to put the fender on. All right. So all I have left to do now is I gotta bleed the brakes, put the wheels and tires on, uh, put it back on the ground. Actually, gotta bleed the brakes. Um, 
let it still stay in the air. I got to put the passenger side fender on and mop that up. Get the fenders adjusted as best as I possibly can. Put the front bumper on, mount the front bumper to the fenders. And then that's it. The car is almost ready to go back together. Um, I, sh I do want to see if I can fix the roof in time. Also, I want to see if I can... Uh, uh, affix my ECU and also affix a couple of wires I have in the back, but that isn't going to stop the car from running and driving. Those are extra things I'm going to want to do. Uh, the roof and the ECU are the most important. Actually, they're all pretty as equally important, but maybe the roof is more important because I don't want water leaking inside the car because it's going to create mold, which it's already starting to do, and I don't want mold. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.